a bit of context about this speech before I give it. Uh, the speech is titled Tribute to the Dog by George Graham Best, a lawyer in uh, written in 1855 by a lawyer who was arguing a case um, for a man who sued a man uh, for killing his dog. Um, this speech was the summation to the jury, and he eventually won this case much because of the speech. Gentlemen of the jury, the best friend a man has in the world may turn against him and become his enemy. His son or daughter that he has reared with loving care may prove ungrateful. Those who are nearest and dearest to us, those whom we trusted with our happiness and our good name may become traitors to their faith. The money that a man has he may lose. It flies away from him, perhaps when he needs it the most. A man's reputation may be sacrificed in all but a moment of an ill-considered action. The people who are prone to fall on their knees and to do us honor when success is with us may be the first to throw the stone of malice when failure settles its cloud upon our heads. The one absolutely unselfish friend that a man can have in this selfish world, the one that never deserts him, the one that never proves ungrateful or treacherous, is his dog. A man's dog stands by him in prosperity and in poverty, in health and in sickness. He will sleep on the cold ground where the wintry winds blow and the snow drives fiercely. If only he may be near his master's side. He will kiss the hand that has no food to offer. He will lick the wounds and sores that come in encounters with the roughness of this world. He guards the sleep of his pauper master as if he were a prince. When all other friends desert, he remains. When riches take wings and reputations fall to pieces, he is as constant in his love as the sun in its journey through the heavens. If fortune drives the master forth, an outcast into the world, friendless and homeless, the faithful dog asks no higher privilege than that of accompanying him, to guard him against danger to fight against his enemies. And when the last scene of all comes, and death takes his master in its embrace, and his body is laid away in the cold ground, no matter if all other friends pursue their way, there by the graveside will be the noble dog be found, his head between his paws, his eyes sad, but open in alert watchfulness, faithful and true, even in death.